Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel at Hustle Hard. Today we're going to show you how to use something called Coin Market Cap. Now, the reason why we use Coin Market Cap, you can go over to their website. Um, it's www.coinmarketcap.com. Okay, Coin Market Cap, guys, is a list of all the cryptocurrencies in the world, and it gives you quite a good analytics and quite a lot of good data on each crypto out there okay so we use coin market cap to get a good understanding about a crypto and to find out more information and to get some good analysis um, around that token now cryptocurrencies obviously you have your main options here at the top so if we click on by ranking it will show you all the top 10 cryptocurrencies in order starting with bitcoin uh, then Ethereum, and then Teva, USD coin, which is also a stable. Uh, we got the BNB, Binance USD. Uh, we got the Cardano, XRP, Solana, Dodge, and the list goes on. Okay, and that's all ordered in its particular rank. Okay, so that's what we look at. Now, if we wanted to get some more information about a particular token, this is where we can actually click into the token. So we're looking at Bitcoin for now, okay? Um, so let's just come away from Bitcoin and let's look at Compound, for instance. Okay, this is one of my favorite kind of tokens. Um, it's doing quite well today, 24%. We bought the dip at $28, I believe, um, not too long ago, as you can see. It came out to $28, which is just about there, which was about a couple of days ago. Um, and obviously it's gone up by almost $10. And um, so, yeah, we're expecting quite a big, expecting uh, quite a big upturn on that. But anyway, we're not going to go into compound too much. That will probably be for the next video. Uh, for now, we're just going to focus on using coin market cap. So you can use a search bar. You can even type in the symbol, right? As some people will say, go and buy BTC or go buy ADA or go buy d-o-g-e or go by shiba right so this is where you can come and type in the actual token okay so they're all here or you can type in a full name and it will find it basically okay so let's just look at compound i'm going to find compound and then i simply click on it and it will take me to compound okay it shows you the price how much it's moved today um now this section is quite important here on the left now this section here actually tells you oops this section here actually gives you the actual main website that belongs to this particular compound this particular token so the actual main website that you can actually go read more about the actual product what they do who they are who the team is etc 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 so this is compounds website um quite a quite a big governance co uh, token uh, in the DeFi space um, and a lot of volume locked up in this particular uh, token itself. So yeah, I will make another video about Compound a little later. So yeah, coming back to it, this is where you can go onto the website. Uh, you can find the source codes for it. There's a lot of people on the chat room in there. There's a little community behind it that you can find on Twitter and on Medium, which is backed by the real Compound. So you can find the official links. Um, you can see what contracts it's on, right? Some contracts are on both. Some contracts are on BNB or the BSC network, which is the Binance Smart Chain Network. Uh, we can see Compound is on the Ethereum network. And that's its Compound, its address, which is very unique to that particular token. Okay. Uh, and then obviously moving down now, we have these options here. We have an overview, which shows you an overview of the market. Now, CoinMarketCap is quite cool because they've got this really cool color scheme they use in the actual technical charts. And then obviously the time frame. So you can change that from a daily to a seven day chart, to a one month chart, to a three month chart, um, right down to a year to an all time high as well. Okay, now this is their actual chart. So you can actually switch this to trading view as well. If you are a trader and you're familiar with trading view and the charts and the indicators, you can actually use their built in trading view charts as well. Okay. Uh, so that's quite cool. Okay, now coming back to the actual data here at the top, 
we've got market. Now, what is the market tab? The market tab shows you exactly where you can go and buy this token. Okay, so if you're finding a token and you don't know where to go and buy it, what exchange or what wallet it's on, you can use the market tab to find out exactly what exchange that token's on. Furthermore, it tells you the price of that particular token on that exchange. Okay, uh, yes, every price will be slightly different depending on the exchange it's actually holded on. Okay, but as you generally can see, it's usually not much of a difference. So at the highest you can see it's like 75 or even 80 or so somewhere. Um, and at the lowest is probably a 56, but it's generally, it's $41, you with me? Um, and that's pretty much the whole market. That's how it works. Now, obviously market also gives you some really good other information about how much volume depth there is for this particular token on that exchange. Um, it also shows you the amount of percentage it's moved in terms of volume um liquidity updated and a few other fields basically historical data is again based on just metrics nothing else so there's no chart data here it's just telling you historically what the price of compound has been on particular dates so we can go right back up to as far as you want to you can see in april that was the highs that was the lows that was the volume and that was how much money was actually locked in to compound at that time considering the money has come down to almost a quarter of it it's still a fantastic project in my opinion um okay holders this is quite a cool one as well holders gets to show you the amount of dresses right amount of people actually holding compound okay there's 192,000 dresses how many active 1,252 right top 10 holders they're actually holding 53 percent of compound right the next top 22 holders are holding 62.6 percent and etc cetera, etc cetera. so that generally tells you the amount of holders of the actual token itself um project info gives you more information on the project who the guys are behind the compound the ceo this you know chief technology officer the strategy lead officer um, who the investors are. Um, there's some more information basically about that. Uh, wallets where you can store this particular token. Um, and these are probably wallets you actually have a relationship with CoinMarketCap in order to be there. News, obviously, if there's any news on the market regarding this particular coin, you would find it within this section. So, yeah, the co CoinMarketCap gives you quite a lot of in depth options right we never really go into these options no one really pays attention everyone's paying attention to the prices but really and truly all of this information is really really helpful okay when i say really helpful it's actually really helpful especially when you're looking to invest in a project in the long term um and you want to do some more research about it this is where you come to okay you don't need to pay anyone on youtube you don't need to pay no crazy courses you don't need to do anything like that Okay, you can simply come to Coin Market Cap, and it gives you quite a lot of information. Okay, guys. Now, what else does it give you? Now, we're going to come away from this and go to Overview again. Okay, so Overview here on the right, there's this live chat box which they've only bought out um, very recently, right? So this wasn't there about five months ago. Um, so it's quite new. It's people just putting in comments about Compound. Um, never take these seriously, bunch of amateurs in there, really like gibberish stuff that goes on in there, look like buy, 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 comp, don't worry, bull run, right, some really, really uninformative information, uh, nothing I would take very seriously from the chat box here, I'm afraid, um, quite a lot of spam in there, as you can see, there's other crypto companies promoting their coin in there, uh, I'll show you one actually, there you go, look, Tita, FTM and one like why are you even mentioning that when we're talking about compare you Kelvin um, right so there's a few of them like that again you know, a few days to go $250 dude like who believes that it's at $41 um, so again yeah pay not much attention there you can sort the comments to latest shows you all the latest ones the top ones are obviously what people have voted and put a thumbs up with or they've commented the most and it comes up at the latest. Again, I don't really uh, pay a lot of energy or time into the comments there because um, I find it quite Spanish. Now, coming down to it, 
you can obviously do a little conversion in. So if you know someone holding 50 compounds, you can tell them today that's how much it's worth in dollars. Okay, quite cool. You can do this with every token, by the way. Right, remember, I've just set this to compound. Okay, um, how do you feel about compound? Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is for. But anyway, coming back to the right hand side here. Okay, the next set of options it's giving you is the price statistics. Now, this is quite important, guys. Okay, I want you to pay attention here because the price statistics is what you should look at if you're an investor in any crypto token. Okay, price statistics gives you just pretty much the overview of the token. So the price, how much it's actually changed in price in the last 24 hours. So it's changed $8.72 in the last 24 hours. So it's gone up by obviously $8.72 as we can see. How much of that is, has been an increase? 26%, 24 hours of the lows and the highs. So within the last 24 hours, what's the lowest price it's been? It's been at $32. What's the last even 24 hours? It's been the highest. It's been $43. Okay, guys. Trading volume, guys. Okay. Trading volume is really important, actually. Okay. This is how much volume is on exchanges combined that is holding compound. Okay. So the amount of people actually buying and selling compound on Binance, Coinbase, etc. The entire volume is this value here. Right. So that's quite a lot of money. Okay. Total volume market cap. Okay, this is the market cap. How much, remember, we talked about how much dominance we have, which is the next step there, right? This is the market cap, okay? It's actually 0 0.4 of the entire market cap. It's not bad, okay? Remember, we're really early in the crypto space. Okay, TVL, really important again. TVL is a total value locked. So this could be staking, this, should, this could be the amount of tokens that are actually within the actual project itself that are locked in value. They cannot go anywhere. They're actually locked there as a store of value for the particular token, okay? Um, so yeah, you can see it's quite a lot of money again. Again, market cap, how much is actually worth. Um, fully diluted market, which is your actual dilution of the market means actual money that's actually in the market itself, not the entire overall amount of money that's actually diluted it's actually been in the market and out already okay so this is your diluted of the market so these stats here guys give you quite a good information market rank again remember bitcoin was at one this is at 99 um so yeah this is your overview this is what we use coin market for right now i use it for other little things as well okay there's some really good little features there like one other little good feature is, is the gainers and losers Right. So this shows you the top gainers in the crypto industry today. So like what cryptos have moved up like huge percentages. This one's moved up by almost 400 percent. Right. It's called pet sneakers. I wouldn't get into it, guys. OK. Most of these are pump and dumps. OK. Um, where you can see the gainers, you can see the losers on the opposite side. OK. You can change the time frame to say, you know what, in the last seven days, what's the highest and what's the lowest? OK. So. Tidex coin, it's done quite well. It's almost on a 633% gain, okay? Uh, OSK has taken a huge beating. So investors who got into that, they've lost 92%, obviously. Price is at $24. Does that mean you should rush in and go buy that? Hmm, okay, this is a good question. Does this mean you should go rush in and buy that? No, okay, anything that moves more than its entire, that's almost 100%, guys, okay? If anything's moved like that, stay away from there. That's, that's how you save money in crypto. You stay away from there. We're not gamblers. You don't look to gamble your money. You stay away, okay? If you want to know more about that project, what is OSK, what it does, who it belongs to, you simply click on it, okay? You simply click on it, and remember, it will take you to the official website of theirs, which is called P and, no, P and, oh God, I don't know what that is. All right, Pangu Global Community Project. God knows who they are, don't know what happened there, but the charts don't look too well. Okay, so we can see over the month, it was actually, uh, let's check out the three months. It actually hasn't been on the market for long, right? Um, as you can see, 
price doesn't really go that far back. So it's actually at three hundred and sixty dollars um, on the ninth um, of February, actually, and it's tumbled all the way down to a poor twenty-four dollars. Would you get into that? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, other little things we can look about this particular coin. Again, guys, remember what exchanges it's located on. How do you check that? You go into markets. Okay, the market will show you exactly what exchanges. Only one exchange called Sun.io. Okay, um, yeah, not much trading volume there. Stay away. Seems like someone's really sweeped out every single penny out of this. Um, and there's still some money in this coin. Okay, there's no data, no market cap. You've got to be careful of these ones. Okay, when you see no market cap and you don't see any circulating supply, you got to be careful, guys. Okay, that's a huge tip I've just given you. When you don't see any circulating supply, no data, you don't want to be investing in that coin. Okay, simple as that. So let's come back to um, the main screen. So top gainers and losers. So you can see the gains, the losses, which is quite cool. It also shows you the latest cryptos being added in the market. Okay, guys. There's millions of cryptos now, right? Literally, there were thousands, right? I'm talking about four or five months ago. Now we have millions. Uh, this has come on to an exchange today, four hours ago. You can see four hours when it was added. Look on the right here. Four hours, four hours, 22 hours, a day, a day, a day, a day. This is yesterday, four days ago. Four... So you can imagine the amount of projects coming out. Will all of these survive? No. Simple as that. Right? Why do people make these tokens? Because everyone wants to jump on to the next biggest crypto project, next biggest Bitcoin, next biggest Ethereum. Let's try catch the bus at 0 0.13, right? And then wait till it hits $64,000. We'll be billionaires. Guys, them days are gone. They don't exist. Hence the reason most of these crypto they are just preying on vulnerable, uneducated crypto folk who are new to the game and they want to put some money somewhere, okay? Yes, some of these might have a good use case. Yes, some of them might have central backing from coin venture partners or some good seed investment from some really good capital ventures or venture capitalists. But guys, I wouldn't put my eggs in any of these baskets. Um, I'm afraid, okay? Unless I do a lot of research onto some of these, um, go into them, look up the CEO, have even a chat with the CEO, which I've done many times with many crypto exchanges um, and tokens, um, and do a lot of due diligence, my own research, my own homework, on to see whether this will actually sustain for the future, right? So when I'm looking to invest in tokens, guys, I'm not really looking to invest in a token. I'm looking to invest in the man or the woman behind the token. Ethereum's damn good. We've got Vitalik. There's a guy who actually has put a face behind his token. Unlike Bitcoin, which is owned by Santoshi Nakamoto, and God knows he could be an FBI agent. Okay, it could be anyone. Who knows, right? He could have been Osama bin Laden. It could be our president Joe Biden. It could be anyone, right? It could be Putin. Who knows? We don't know, right? However, Ethereum, we know who owns that. We know who developed it. It's a real human being. So I generally like to invest my money behind cryptos that actually have someone behind them. And the reason being because I look at that individual's vision and where he's going in the market. So guys, this is CoinMarketCap um, and this is what we wanted to cover today. And any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And join the VIP Telegram group. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Take care and love you lot. Bye-bye.